at designs from all over the world of all scales, landscapes as small as gardens and courtyards, on up through public parks, plazas. I'm always um, incredibly impressed by the intelligence of students at this stage in their education, their ability to pick up the basic principles of landscape architecture, uh, because it's not something most people are taught in um, middle school or high school. My name is Chris Koldoff. So we have, uh, we have 47 offices around the world. We also have some great um, designers who have come from ASU in our Los Angeles office. So I'm always interested in seeing what the work is that's coming out of this school because it's always really solid. One of the things that I'm very impressed with is the multidisciplinary approach that the school takes um, and the idea that there is architecture and interior design and landscape and industrial design and graphic design sort of all together. I think that's really good. My name is Ned Kramer. We focus equally on business, technology, and design as they relate to the built environment. I've been really impressed with the focus on sustainability and the specificity of responses to the locale, to the built environment here, to the, the uh, natural environment in, in and around Phoenix in Arizona. And so there seems to be a real sensitivity to place and a real sense of kind of genus loci uh, that you don't always get in, in architecture schools. Very often it's a much more, uh, in a negative way, kind of a globalizing response to architecture. And here it seems very, very much responding to place. My name is Tim Eskelin. I'm an alumni here at Arizona State and um, I graduated with a degree in industrial design. I think it's more about looking at the feasibility of it and, you know, it's, it's easy to do more, but it's hard to do less, but make it less, you know, so. Simplifying a product is where it's very hard. I'm Sarah Herda. I think um, for all of us, it's been very interesting to see the kind of distinct design disciplines that are represented at the school um, and the ways in which the, um, they both kind of come together and stay within their sort of boundaries of fields. I think it's also just as a jury uh, for us to be representing different design disciplines together talking about projects is a really unique opportunity which we I think are extending to one of the unique opportunities that the school itself represents. Uh, my name is Tanner Woodford. There were so many good projects here. For me, it's both being able to communicate a message while still nailing all the details. And that was something that I really struggled with with a lot of the projects is, you know, it'd be a wonderful piece, wonderful design, it would communicate very thoroughly, and then there, there would be one detail that was wrong, whether it was a typo, whether it was, you know, lighting that was too wide, or whatever it might be. Uh, and it led to a lot of really long conversations around how important the details are and if we can reward that sort of thing. And not to just put a negative spin on it, because I mean, there's, there were so many pieces that were very strong as well. But I think being able to sort of, you know, have, have your head in the clouds and also look at the, in the details is important. I think design matters because without it, you get chaos. Everything we do, everything we interact with, every space we, we walk through or experience, it can be something wonderful or it could be something that's not wonderful. And, you know, why not make it wonderful if we can? Everything is designed, right? The roads, you know, the floors that we step on. It's something that we all interact with or all of the time, whether the design is good or bad. Design is absolutely essential. We, we all know what a doorknob looks like. We all know what a doorway looks like. I get asked this a lot. <laughs> I think design, for me, has the capacity to fundamentally improve the human condition. We really do have an opportunity to take a step back and look at core problems of humanity and offer solutions uh, for those problems. Design can change the world.